Hi guys, welcome back to my Mathematics tutorial. My name is Peter C. Douglas Jr., your Mathematics or tutor and an instructor of Mathematics at the University of Liberia. In my today's lecture, I will be looking at differential equations. So under differential equations, I will be particularly discussing um, variable separable. So we said in previous lessons, when you have a differential equation given to you and you have a case wherein you can separate all of the variables in x on one side of the equation and all of the variables in all of the expressions in y on the other side of the equation it means that 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 differential equation you know can be solved using variable separable so we saw a few examples like uh, five five problems in the previous lessons so we want to do the sixth problem now on a variable separable. So let's get started. Now we said dy by dx, we should find a general solution of this first order, first degree differential equation. dy by dx is equals to x, two ln of x plus one divided by sine of y plus y cos of x. So the first thing we can, we can do is a cross multiply, this time this, so this time this. So we have sine of y, plus y cos of y times dy equals, then we cross multiply. So we have, uh, so I'm just going to multiply everything in there is 2x lm of x plus x, and then this is dx. So we can clearly see that within here, all of the expressions within here, are being expressed in terms of x and the ones in here are being expressed in terms of y so there's no need for further you know simplifications or factoring or dividing by terms that are not part of that particular side so there's no need for that so the only thing now we have to integrate both sides of the equation to get our general solution that's the rule that's the second step when you have separated the variables then you integrate to get your general solution so we take the integral of each term. So the integral of sine of y dy plus the integral of y cos of y dy, the integral of 2x, so we put the 2 outside, lm of x dx plus the integral of x dx. Now, we can easily integrate this. We can easily integrate this, but this two now has to do with integration by parts because in this area we have a factor that is considered a kind of linear let's say a variable and then this is a trigonometric function so you have two different expressions you know a variable and a trigonometric function here we have uh, a kind of you know a variable you know linear expression right here and then we have a logarithmic function so because of these distinct functions we must use integration by parts so we do them separately in the first area right here we're going to pause the first term and the last we're going to pause the two of them and just deal with the middle so in this first case now we know that the integration by parts integration by parts formula so the integration by parts formula is the integral of u dv equals to u times v minus the integral of v du so we say if you have let me get on a new micro uh, if you have um a case if you have an integrand where one expression can be termed as an expression that you can differentiate and one can be termed as an expression that you can integrate then you can carry on you know integration by parts now Observe the two expressions. The one that when you integrate is going to reduce, that's the one, that's the one that when you differentiate is going to reduce, that's the one you consider as your u. And the ones that uh, sometimes when you integrate, it doesn't change, you know, uh, consider that as your integrated. But the major thing is think of how you can, you know, deal with the situation in a way that allow your so u to be something that when you differentiate, it's going to reduce. Like when you have a variable 
and you have a trigonometry function, you can allow your u to be the variable and you allow your dv to be the trigonometry function because when you differentiate a variable, it reduces. But when, if, when you integrate a variable, the power increases. That is, if you had x to the power 2, x to the power 2, if you differentiate this power, the power drops, x to the first power. But if you have x to the power 2 and you integrate this, power, uh, this expression, it goes to x to the power 3 over 3. So we now going to consider the variable to be our u. So we say let u equals to y. So if we differentiate both sides, now the derivative of u is just 1. But since we have differentiated with respect to u, attach du equals the derivative of y now is just dy. Then we move on this side. So since we allow u now to be equal to y, we need to allow the rest of the expression now to be equal to dv. So we say let uh, dv now be cos of y dy. So the dv portion is a portion that we are integrating. So if we integrate both sides, please, I, I advise that if you need some tutorial on uh, the integration by path, the methods of integrations, you can also check on our page. We have a lot of videos on methods of integration. So it will help you, you know, so that you get yourself on path, you know, because we'll be focusing more on uh, differential equations and the methods involved in, you know, solving differential equations. And uh, the concentration would not be more on how to you know, integrate functions. So uh, I just urge that you review the integration methods, the integration by parts, and the rest of them, right? Please check on my page to receive them. So now we integrate this side. Uh, the integral of the V is just V. And the integral of cos of, of Y is just equal to sine of Y. So now we've gotten uh, the first one. We move to the second one. For this case now, again, we know that if we differentiate x, the power is going to drop, right? We're going to get just uh, x to the zero power. But we cannot easily integrate lm of x, right? So since we cannot easily integrate lm of x, we must allow u to be lm of x because we know that we can easily differentiate lm of x. So the derivative of lm of x, which is the u now is equal to 1 over x. We told you to differentiate lm of x. It means you, you, you write like 1 over whatever function is right here, then times the derivative of that function. So the derivative of x is just 1. So this thing is just dx, right? And then the V should be the portion that you have to integrate now is X. Now, again, the reason why we are using X, because X is being paired with LM of X. Had X been paired with trigonometry function, we would have used X to be our U. Had X been paired with exponential function, we would have used X to be our U. But since X is paired with LM of X, natural logarithm function, we allow x to be our dv. So dv is equal to x dx. So if we integrate both sides now, we get v is equal to x squared over 2. Now let's go down to put them in. So I just erase this portion. And I'm erasing this second portion as well. OK. So we have the first area. The integral of sine of y is just equal to minus cos of y. Because we know that if you differentiate sine of y, you get cos. When you differentiate cos of y, you get minus sine of y. So if you integrate, um, if you integrate sine of y now, Right? It will give you negative cos of y times this negative that is outside. If you come back to positive cos of y. So that's why we got negative there. Plus, the integral of this now 
Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna bring in this this formula, which is u v minus the integral of v du, where our u now is equal to y. So we just replace that later. So the next case now we have uh, two the integral of. So the same thing for this one. We're just going to bring in the formula now that we, you know, we did the integral of u v u d v is equal to u v minus the integral of v d u. So we're just going to bring in this formula now because this thing now is equal to this one. So it's u v minus the integral of v d u. So um, plus the integral of x is just x square all over two. Okay, now, so we continue, we have minus cos of y plus, now u now is, is just y, and v is sine of, of y, minus the integral of v, v sine of y, dy, right? Okay, du now is, what is du? du is dy, equals, 2, u is, now for this portion now, so u is just the lm of x, and then v now is x squared over 2. And what is next? We have minus the integral of v, which is the same x squared over 2, and then the u is just equal to 1 over x dx plus x squared all over 2. So we can now simplify the others and integrate the ones that need to be integrated. So let's continue. We have a minus cos of y plus y sine of y. So the integral of sine is just minus cos of y. So this one, uh, okay, this two must be multiplied by this term and this term. So we have two times this one, two and this two will go out. So you will have like x squared ln of x. That's the first case. Minus. So this two and this two will also go out. You just have the, the integral of x. Now x squared and x, one will cancel. You just left with x dx plus x squared all over two. So what happens? This is now positive. So it's minus cos of y, y sine of y plus cos of y. So this and this will go out. Equals to x squared the ln of x. Now the integral of x is just x squared over 2 plus x squared over 2. So what happens? This and this go out as well. So we just left with y sine of y equals to this expression so we can even bring it on the other side you have x square lm of x so now we just attach plus arbitrary constant c you know um yes and we say r equals uh, c so this is our final answer now remember i told you this c <laughs> c taking on negative c or c taking on a, a, a coefficient and c and whatever the case might be c is just arbitrary constant so you can represent just 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 c so don't bother about why is it that um maybe i didn't take this thing across or if i were to take this thing across and still maintain it as positive why is it that it turn it turn positive when it should be negative and all of those things don't bother about it c is just c right so there is our final answer for or this is my solution, right? My required solution. This is the area that I want to stop. So it left with you to, to solve it the way you want to solve it. But this is the solution. This is the general solution. It's general because you can rewrite any form and it can take on any form, right? So this is a general solution. You can decide to say, okay, I will, I will send this term across or whatever way you want to do it. This is how we find a general solution for this problem using variable separable. 
So thanks all so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification button so that you get, you know, updated on new uploads. Thank you. See you in our next lecture.